हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सैम्पलिंग थेरी Sampling theory is a part of statistics. So before going ahead and before actually starting with sampling, let us understand why we need sampling. So I'll give you an example to explain what exactly sampling is. Suppose I want to check in India how many people use internet. So it's practically impossible for me to go and ask each and every one how many of you use internet. So what I will do is I'll go to a particular locality or collect a data of hundred individuals. And suppose out of hundred. Uh, let's say 60 people use internet. So in general, I can say 60% of Indians use internet. So this claim may be right or may be wrong. So that depends upon many criteria. So that will be covering in the later part of the videos. So this is the concept of sampling. So what is the advantage? So see students, you need not to realize the entire population. You can take a small sample and you can conclude based on that. So let me give you one more example to elaborate the same concept. Suppose I want to check how many student clears mathematics paper. So again, it's practically impossible for me to go and ask each and every one whether you cleared or failed. So what I will do is I'll go to a particular college or I'll go to a particular area you can say and will ask students whether you cleared mathematics paper or not cleared. So suppose I analyzed 100 students data and I found out uh, let's say 70 student cleared mathematics paper. So I can conclude in general 70% of the students cleared mathematics paper. So this is my conclusion. So again this may be right or may be wrong. It depends upon many criteria. So that will be discussing in the next video. So for this video let us see the types of sampling. So sampling is divided into two types large sample test and small sample test. So if the size of sample is greater than or equal to 30, it is large sample test and if size is less than 30, it is small sample test. Now friends, in the example that we discussed, in both the examples, in the first example, we took 100 people data and in the second example also, we took 100 students data. This 100 is greater than or equal to 30, therefore this is large sample test. And suppose in the same example, if I have chosen, uh, let's say 20 students for analyzing the data, since it is less than 30 that will come under small sample category. So these are the types of sampling based on number of samples. So before going ahead, before starting solving the problems, friends you need to be very clear with these notations. Sample mean is x bar, sample standard deviation is s, population mean is mu and population standard deviation is sigma. So you need to remember this because many of the students will be confused while solving the problem. If a mean is given, so the first thing comes in the mind is whether it is a population mean or sample mean. So you should be very clear and you need to understand the notation. You need to actually remember the notations. So these are the notations that we'll be discussing in the later videos how to use it. And these are the steps that will be required while solving the problems of large sample test and small sample test both. So the first step is your null hypothesis then you have alternate hypothesis, then you have level of significance, then calculate value by formula and last part is your conclusion. So these steps will remain fixed for both large sample test as well as small sample test. In the next videos, we'll see how exactly we're going to use these steps and use these notations to solve the problems. Thank you.